friends thank you for watching my channel i just want to remind you if you need wallpaper go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com tell them spencer sent you in fact if you use my hashtag spencer colgan is wallpaper they'll be sure to give you a 10 percent off at your checkout no matter how much you order they have a wide selection of wallpaper check it out this video is about trimming woven goods, specifically a product from Tibu. I'll put the description in the video and I will link it below. But we're going to talk about trimming wallpaper, specifically woven goods, which gets tricky when you're trimming it around intricate crown molding, uh, intricate wood molding around windows, etc. Okay, it takes a little more than a sharp knife. So I'm gonna to try to show you in this video how I do it. So you wanna cut wallpaper that has string in it or a special natural product that has a lot of threads in it. Take a look at this. You know what this means? All of these cross threads in here. It means you gotta be careful because your blade gets dull right away. But there's a trick. This, you do not want to cut it like this. You move this, not them together. Because if you move them together, especially if you're doing straight, you're gonna pull one of the threads and before you can stop, it's gonna go up 12 inches. So when you're cutting grass cloth or some other natural product that has threads going through it, these are cross threads. You got them both ways. This blade should be changed really three times in just one sheet if you want to keep it super sharp. So if you're not changing the blade, you have to make sure that you don't pull the threads with this. In these shears. So you make a mark right there. Now we're still attached. was filmed in this house. Anybody ever see arsenic in old place? Oh, I was at that house. This is not the house. But it's like it. Okay. Now So again, normally when we cut wallpaper, we do this. But you wind up pulling the threads if you do that. And people, they're gonna notice if you don't change the sheet. This is not cheap stuff. So let's do it. Nice new sharp blade. I penetrate it and I drag my blade. Not my guide, just the blade.
I can already tell it's getting dull. When I get down near the bottom, I'm going to reverse the direction. It's not correct yet. Anybody see anything wrong with it? Wait here, it's sloppy. I mean, it's not sloppy, it just has to get finished. Now, here's the thing. When you got threads, you gotta make them look pretty. And so, you wanna go along and push the material as far back as you can. Now, as a last resort, What I would take is a straight edge and trim off any remaining material. That's all we're talking about, but it makes it look ugly and not neat if you leave that. Okay? You don't need this for all wallpaper. This is just for the stuff that has cross threads or annoying threads that don't cut easily. So here we are. What do we do? Check it out. Can you bring them in? You see this? That's got to get trimmed off. Now we have real plaster walls here. It makes the blade very dull, real quick. You can hear the plaster. It's that old school plaster. Now, oh, sorry. too much. So, fresh blade. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to score it. I'm scoring it. See that? Now, the end result. Come, come close. This is what we're gonna do to make that really look sharp. This is all we're gonna do. I'm not a righty. Can they see? See that? Okay, so check it out. Here's what you're gonna do. Take your fingernail and make it permanent. Just clean up with a straight edge, which is your fingernail. And then, if you have any other cleaning up to do, this is what you do. You get the paint for the trim. Let's just say, see this trim is really old. And so it has tons of paint on it. And you can see it's not perfectly nice and straight. It has old house charm. 
So here's what you do. You take a nice paintbrush and you paint a straight edge of paint right up against your wallpaper if you have a sloppy edge. I don't have a sloppy edge here, but that's what I would do if I did have a sloppy edge. Okay. So the tools used are shears, small and large, a straight edge, a smoother, and a small knife to get into those areas that are really intricate. See you on the next one.